Welcome everybody to the next video of about cost behavior. Like, how does cost changes? Um, how does it work? It with its behavior uh, based on the level of activity could be units or production. Yeah, there there are four types of fixed cost, variable cost, semi variable cost, and stepped cost. Fixed cost that remains same. Whatever is the output level. Output means your final products. Whether you pr produce one item or 100 items, your fixed cost will remain fixed. Variable cost that increases as your output increases. If you produce one item, it's going to cost you only for one item. But the more you produce, the more it's going to cost you. Semi-variable cost is a, is a element of both fixed and variable cost, also known as mixed cost, semi-fixed cost, and it's stepped cost that remains fixed for... Uh, a certain level of activity then it goes up and again remains fixed uh, we're going to talk about in detail regarding all this cost uh, methods of cost by behavior number one fixed cost we said it remains fixed whatever is the level of activity no matter whether you produce zero unit or one unit or hundred thousand whatever unit your fixed cost remain fixed this is your output level this is you're starting from zero one hundred two hundred three hundred you're producing yeah four hundred five hundred uh let's say you may say rent of the of your warehouse now the rent per month is uh, two hundred pound yeah whether you produce zero unit or five hundred units the rent is still two hundred pound okay that's your fixed cost fixed cost total um, this is the picture of fixed cost total that remains as it is constant but you know the fixed cost per unit that goes down what do you mean by that at our example um, fixed cost was 200 I said whether we produce zero unit or 500 unit no matter but it's still 200 pound but how about if we produce 100 unit what is the cost per unit it goes down like uh, I'll do 200 pound is the total cost divided by um, 100 equals to 2 pound, right? So that is your fixed cost uh, per unit. 2 pound is the fixed cost uh, uh, per unit, yeah? Fixed cost per unit. Then again, 300, if we produce 300, it goes down. The more you produce, the more it goes uh, down, maybe... 0.66. Let's take the calculator on screen here. All right, 200 divided by 300. We got to 0.66. Add it divided by 30. It's not 30. Point, point 0.66 or 67. You can take as well. Yeah. The more you produce, the more it goes down. Yep. How about 500? Oh, we do have an activity at the bottom. Let's do it, yeah? So the simple logic here, uh, fixed cost per unit goes down, yep. Yeah? It, it, it's, it's good to produce more because the fixed cost in total remains same, but your your capability, pro productivity is going better. Activity one, fixed cost per unit. Slate Limited makes garden benches and incurs fixed costs of 20,000 per year. Calculate the fixed cost per garden bench at the following output level. Uh, fixed cost per garden bench. And you know what to do, don't you? 20,000 divided by 1,000. So that's here. 20,000. 20,000. You divide it by... Okay, starting with number 1. 20,000 divided by 1,000 unit. 20. 20 is the answer. That's cost per unit. Yeah, fixed cost per unit. So 20,000 divided by 10,000. 2. And uh, it's going to be 1, but uh, just doing it for you people. 20,000 divided by 20,000. 1. And... Uh, 20,000 by 100,000, isn't it? Divided by... You can hear the noise of my pen. 0.2. That's how you find the cost per unit. 
Next one is variable cost. The more item you produce, the more it costs you. It varies with the level of activity. For example, if one kg of a material needed um, for each cost unit, then 100,000 kg will be required for 100,000 kg production. And yeah, the more uh, you produce, the more kgs will be needed. But uh, uh, what is the cost per unit or per kg? Let's talk about cost per unit. If the cost per unit is two pound and you're producing zero units, zero cost. If you're producing five unit, five times by two, doesn't he? Five units, you're producing two each, so you get 10 pound. If you're producing a uh, hundred unit, it's gonna cost you more. Two times by 100, 200, it's going to cost you 200 pounds. So the more you produce, the more it costs you. That's the graph of um, a variable cost total. Let's assume in total we have produced uh, 500 units, so 1,000 pounds it costed us. And yeah, this is the money sign. And uh, vertical is your uh, money sign. And uh, horizontal is the mm, output. So total you put, uh, output is 500 and the total cost is 1,000 pound. But how about variable cost per unit? We said two pound, that's it, two pound, two pound. So variable cost per unit is unchanged, right? The variable cost per unit is unchanged here and that is our two pound, that's it, yeah. Cost of one item, cost of one calculator could be, it's two pound. But the more you produce, the more it costs you. That is the VC total. Yep. But you know, the VC to, uh, um, per unit looks like fixed cost total. <laughs> assessment focus point. Let's check out what they said in the BPP assessment focus point. Assessment questions may ask you to calculate budgeted cost per unit using total budgeted cost and the number of units you need to understand the total variable cost, uh, variable cost per unit divided by times by number of units. Yeah, that is easy. You can do it. Variable cost per unit um, is the variable cost, um, total variable cost per number of units. Like they are talking about if the total cost is £1,000 and uh, you have produced 500 items, the variable cost per unit would be what? 2, not 22. Yeah. And total variable cost, how do you get the total? The same total you get, variable cost per unit is 2, doesn't it? Times by number of units you produce 500, so you get 1000 I hope every one of you can do it. Next one is about stepped cost, sometimes called stepped, stepped fixed cost. This is a cost which remains constant uh, for some time, then it goes up and remains constant again, same. Then it goes up, then it again remains uh, a constant. Why? Uh, uh, let's get started with an example. They give a good example here. For example, if one production supervisor is required for 30,000 units, yeah, of production that is made for three supervisors are required for the production of 90,000, four for 120,000. Yeah, so let's assume for 30,000 units, we need one supervisor, then um, up to 30,000 units you can produce, and we are paying them any any salary, 2,000 pounds we are paying them. But what if uh, our requirement is 40,000 units now, or up to 60,000 units, we need another supervisor up to 60,000 you need um, be, it can be supervised by another supervisor and that gonna cost you two thousand more altogether basically four thousand gonna cost you we can give um, another example we um, of storehouse let's assume we can hold 500 items or units in one room and the rent of that room is 500 pound but um, if it is more than 500 but in between 1000 like even 600 or any amount up to 1000 we need another room. We need to rent out another room. And the cost of the both of the rooms are £1,000. That's your stepped cost. It remains fixed for a certain level of activity, then goes up, remains fixed again. What is the next one? It's about semi-variable, where there will be some fixed element and there will be some variable element. A very good example could be, look at this um, picture first. Uh, the... This is your fixed element, FC. Some of the items is fixed, let's assume 25 pound. And the uh, rest of the items is a uh, variable. This isn't it your VC, but it starts from here basically, yeah? A uh, good example could be, uh, 
you know the mobile contract let's assume you are using which one o2 um, and uh, you're paying the contract the bundle unlimited minute and um, 30 gigabyte of data yeah 30 gigabyte of data and uh, gb of data uh, you got to it and you're paying 25 pounds per month only oh that sounds good maybe seem only contract <laughs> well uh, but if you use more than 30 gb the more you use the more it's going to cost you that is your vc part doesn't it and the 25 pound is your uh, fixed cost part that, this is one way of doing calculating your fixed and variable cost. We're gonna we have an activity gonna check it out. Another method is called ILO method. We're gonna check out in the uh, next video. A very important one that comes in the exam. I have seen quite a lot of time. Activity two. Before that, assessment focus point. Assessment questions could ask you to calculate the fixed and variable elements of cost based on a particular percentage. Okay, let's check it out then. The assessment style question. Very simple, going to be just uh, stay focused. And overhead cost. Overhead means indirect costs. Yep, not a direct cost. Could be a production of it, could be non production of it. No matter. These are just indirect costs. Could be rent, rates, or insurance. So many things could be. We don't know yet, but the total cost is 580,000. This is made up of fixed and variable element. The fixed is 55. That means 45 is your VC. Simple, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Fixed. You just need a calculator to work it out, don't you? Uh, 580,000 times by 0 0.55. 390, 19, yeah? Okay, our calculator is slightly out of the <laughs> screen. And uh, again, you can take it away, but 580,000 times by 0.45 to 61,000. That's it from this particular video. Check out the next very important video on Hilo method.